Before Arbon, I was um, working as a dancer in Germany. I was performing in a musical called Starlight Express on roller skates, so I'd been skating around for two years, pretending to be a buffet cart with a sandwich on my head. <laughs> Before I moved to Germany and I was living in London, I couldn't even afford a can of baked beans to live on. I did lots of promotional work, giving out leaflets at seven o'clock in the morning, holding signposts, all of the horrible jobs that dancers have to do to survive. And I don't have to do that anymore. I think Arbonne's even more fun than dancing. Some of my best friends I get to see every day of my life and just experience the most amazing journey with. I still dance, yes. Um, I've got an audition next week for the Olympic Games for the opening ceremony. I love the fact that I can choose what jobs I want to do now. I can do it as a passion rather than because I need it to fund me. There's no one telling me that my hair's the wrong colour, my eyes are the wrong colour, I'm not the right height. Um, I get to decide what I want for my future, which is amazing. Growing strong means developing as a person, becoming better than you've ever imagined you could be. My mum doesn't recognise me. <laughs> she thinks I'm a different person from two years ago. I think it's fantastic using consultants to be in the catalogue. It means we get to express our journey with Arbonne and show people that normal people do this. I have to keep pinching myself. I don't feel like it's real. I feel like a celebrity. I love it. I'm not in the back row anymore. I'm in the front. <laughs>